Okay, everybody, this is Dave Stevens. Um, it's been a while since I've posted anything, and, you know, I, um, I'm not one of these guys that's uh, trying to monetize his channel and make, you know, a lot of money. Um, so I don't, I don't do these clickbait videos out there trying to get money and, you know, sit around and talk about nothing important. And uh, so, you know, I've pretty much posted everything I do and all my models and everything. And so it's not like I could do a hundred videos, you know, every four months or something like that. So that's not me. I'm not a salesperson. And um, so, yeah, anyway, so the my videos are going to get fewer and shorter probably because I've pretty much covered everything. And so this is going to be a shorty. Um, somebody sent me a really short, sweet um, video demo of my uh, 1957 stainless steel um PAF replica that I made based on um, a guy who owns an actual 57 uh, gold top with the black trim, the ones that had out of phase in the middle position. So um, he had a friend come over and noodled on, on that guitar and I thought it sounded pretty good. So I will share that and um, I'll put the guy's name um, down in the uh, the text part of the uh, video here. So, um, I'm going to write a book, and I've already started. And the reason is that I've I, I've written for a lot of magazines and a, a couple books, and. All of them are out of print, so it's like, you know, I have a lot of information about vintage PAFs, but um, it's out, it's, there's hardly anything left on the internet that you can go read and find out the truth about these old pickups. And then, you know, the forums are full of really bad information and, uh, you know, total myth, hypester kind of stuff. So I've seen PAFs from every year, dissected them all, did all that science-based uh, reverse engineering. And uh, it's all kind of lost, uh, you know. Even the longest article I ever wrote, um, it's not in print anymore. So... I wanted to put it all in one book that you could go buy. It's not going to be a very long book and it's not going to tell you how to do what I'm doing because I don't share that kind of stuff and I'd be, be absolutely dumb to do that. So, so, so this video well, uh, well, back to the book. Um, I don't know when it's going to be done, and it's going to cover a lot of stuff. And it it could take a year to write it up right. And it's not going to be. I'm not a professional writer, so it's just going to be just a uh, you know something I'm notating down and writing. And it probably won't be organized real well, but you'll find out a lot of stuff you don't know. And there will be a few hints in there if you're one of these winder guys out there trying to figure out what I'm doing. A couple of hints, but nothing that's going to get you there. So, uh, the main body of this video is just um, some audio recording I did of my Santucci um, replica. It's like the best Les Paul I've ever played in my life. And... It's got our four uncles bridge on it. It's um, 
Every, everything vintage correct is on it. And the pickups are my Belden 1955 era vintage new old stock magnet wire. The stuff is just awesome. And uh, so I just did some, sat down and did some noodling, uh, um, not video, just audio. Um, because, you know, the video stuff is so time consuming to do and I make too many mistakes and stuff like that. So, um, and then I did some minimal photography of the Santucci Les Paul, some close ups. So there's no video in the rest of this video. <laughs> it's just uh, audio, audio sampling and pictures of David Santucci's wonderful replica, which has everything done right, all the right glues, real Brazilian fretboard, everything. And everything I know, I did, I did the harness myself, um, sourced the right uh, hardware, and especially the... Uh, Four Uncles Restorations ABR1 replica, which is the only actual true replica being made of those vintage bridges. And you, you can dig through my uh, channel and you can see the official um, demo for them and, and some of the, uh, the pre previous uh, reverse engineering work that I did. So, and we're not going to tell you how that was done either or what we used. So, anyway, that's all. Just saying hello and I'm uh, going to do this real quick and upload it before Monday, I hope. It's already Sunday morning and i um, just going to cut this short. So, thanks for dropping in. Um, share my videos when you get a chance. There's some really good videos there that don't have, you know, clickbait titles that some people missed. And uh, so just scroll down through it and find the good stuff. And you can always uh, make comments and trolls. You know, you guys aren't getting any more. I, um, I'm, I'm checking every comment now because there are just these people out there that have to bash anything they see. Uh, I'm done with that, so um, have a good week, and eventually we'll do another video at some point. I don't know about what, because, I, you know, like I said, I've kind of run out of subjects. So, thanks for watching.